Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 15th through the 21st. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising Signs. So Sag, let's get started. Alright, Sag, at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Two of Swords, which the Two of Swords can represent maybe a decision that you have to make, or perhaps a decision that you are waiting on. If you are making a decision, uh, Sag, I would just recommend that you are going within, trusting your intuition. So this could be a decision that's quite significant that this week that either you're making or you could even be waiting on this decision. Um, and with the overall energy being the, the page of rods, if you are waiting on a decision, because this is a general reading, I feel like there could be some Sages actually waiting on a decision. I do feel like you will probably receive news or communication in regards to that decision just by looking at your um, overall spread, but also, you know, the overall energy for the week is the page of rods, which is um, ec exciting news, exciting news or communication coming through. Um, it can be new beginnings as well. This could be a decision in regards to something new starting in your in your life. We are starting out with the eight of rods, which can be a very hasty, fast paced uh, sudden energy, things happening suddenly, things happening unexpectedly or, or just very quick, things moving forward uh, quickly. This can also be messages, communication messages coming in, messages going back and forth. This can be emails, text messages, phone calls. Um, so definitely you're starting off the week with with I feel like a lot of communication things even maybe maybe happening quickly maybe unexpectedly for some sages now directly underneath the eight of rods I do have the chariot which is you know another forward moving energy of things happening quickly um, so if you're a sag that has felt like things have maybe been stagnant or at a standstill um, you know here comes the chariot along with the eight of rods which is really going to move things along it's an energy that's going to really um, pick things up and, and, and get them moving um, the chariot is also the ultimate victory card um, it's a wonderful card a wonderful energy this is you being empowered you being very much in control you're in the driver's seat and, and you're steering this chariot exactly where you want to go. Um, you're very balanced this week and victory is definitely in the cards because I happen to have the chariot sitting right next to the ace of swords. So these are, are, are two cards that represent victory. Now with the ace of swords, it wouldn't have been the easiest victory to obtain, but still a victory is a victory this can also be you seeing things clearly you cutting to the truth of a, a particular matter um, you seeing the truth 
um, I do happen to have the Seven of Swords sitting directly on top of the Ace of Swords. So this could involve another person or perhaps maybe for some Sages, it can be like a shady situation. Um, there might have been something going on around you um, that, that made you had or had you, excuse me, had you a little suspicious of it with the Seven of Swords here. The Seven of Swords can represent multiple different things, but I feel like in regards to, um, you know, these energies that we have with, with it, um, this very well could be you seeing uh, a situation clearly. Maybe you were suspicious of a situation, but, you know, this would be the week that, you know, you're either finding things out, you're seeing the truth, you're, you're seeing... Um, you're cutting to the truth of the matter. The Seven of Swords can also be a card of, of receiving clarity. So I feel like perhaps with this communication coming through as well, you're receiving clarity. You're, you're um, cutting to the truth of the matter. You're victorious. Um, I also have the Three of Pentacles here. So for some of you, this can definitely have something to do with career. Or the workplace, maybe co-workers, because the Three of Pentacles actually represents teamwork, working within a group, working with, you know, many different co-workers. Um, so for some of you, this this particular situation here can, can involve co-workers, perhaps. Um, The Three of Pentacles can also be a card that will come up when, when we are being watched. But I feel like for some Sages, this can be you doing the watching. Maybe you're watching a, an employee. Maybe you're the boss, Sag, and you're watching maybe an, an employee. Maybe you, you know, see the truth. Maybe you find something out this week about this employee. Maybe you're making a decision to maybe fire them or keep them on. And then for other Sages, I feel like um, you might have felt a lack because I, I happen to have the, the Five of Pentacles right next to the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like you might have felt a lack previously and it can be in regards to finances or security. Maybe you just felt um, a lack in your life in regards to financial security. Um, but I, I definitely see you working very hard with Three of Pentacles here. This is, because it's the Three of Pentacles, this is a card of expansion. This is, you know, you reaping those rewards for your hard work and your efforts. This is more security coming in. So I feel like if you're a Sag that has felt maybe a lack of abundance or a lack of um, just financial security. I feel like this is a great week for, for good news to come in. You could even be getting some recognition here. Um, you are definitely working very hard and I feel like it, it's not a bad week financially at all. You're, you're reaping those rewards for that hard work. Um, now underneath the, the Five of Pentacles, I do have the Nine of Swords here which can be a card that represents insomnia. Now, this can be something as as little as maybe losing maybe a night of a sleep here and there, um, a few hours of sleep here and there, but this can also be something more intense. This can be, you know, you being in your head a little bit too much, having negative thoughts, fears, anxieties, stress, stress, pressures, things of that, that nature, um, you know, all of that type of stuff, keeping you up at night, interfering with your sleep, um, you worrying perhaps, maybe you're worrying about, um, you know, feeling a lack financially or a lack uh, of something in your life. It doesn't always have to represent something financial. This can also be a card of you losing the faith, um, you losing your faith, losing hope in regards to maybe um, like a promotion or something that you want to come through. But again, um, 
that's a huge theme this week. So if you've been feel, feeling a little hopeless in regards to maybe a decision coming through with the Two of Swords here, and ironically, when I just lifted this card up, the card that was underneath it, wow, oh my goodness, was the Nine of Rods. And then, I mean, I could even go further. I happen to have the Seven of Pentacles under that card as well. But, um, you know, the Nine of Rods is someone who feels hopeless, um, starting to feel hopeless, someone who's tired. They've been waiting. They're tired. They're feeling hopeless. Um, and then underneath the Nine of Rods, I had the Seven of Pentacles here, which is someone who's worked extremely hard. Um, and now they're they're in a... a, a, a a, a period of waiting um and then i happen to have the two of swords here at the bottom of the deck so if you're a sag that's been you know working extremely hard and just been patient in regards to a decision i feel like this is the week that that decision or that news that communication is coming through things are definitely looking up with the eight of rods here it's always an improvement things are looking up and things are taking off things are moving forward um and you know you happen to have two victory cards side by side and one is the ultimate victory card this is the phoenix rising up from the ashes um this is you being empowered so I feel like um, for those Sages that have been losing faith or, or experiencing some sort of lack, this is going to be a wonderful week that, you know, things happen to really turn around. Um, and, you know, we happen to have the star here. I saved the best for last because this is a wonderful card. This is that divine guidance. This is that divine energy. This is your angels, your spirit guides, just coming through strongly in the reading for, especially for those Sages that might have been feeling a little hopeless, or they might have been losing, losing um, the faith in regards to something, maybe a decision coming through. Um, this is this is your angels and your spirit guides letting you know you need to remain positive. You need to remain hopeful because you have some beautiful things coming in for you. Um, you know, this is also sometimes um, it, it is a wish fulfillment card. So for some Sages, this can be you actually receiving maybe a wish come true with this page of rods here, with this communication and this victory. This very well could be, you know, something you've been wishing for not and hoping for. And, you know, things are actually starting to happen. And it and for some Sages, it very well could be happening unexpectedly. This, you know, this very well can be a, a sudden energy. Things happening quite quickly and unexpectedly. So let me draw you an additional guidance card. Let's see what else the angels have to say for Sagittarius for this upcoming week. All right, this card flipped out, and it is Osha, Oshi, Oceana. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation, and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Oh, my God. This resonates beautifully, Sag, with the rest of the spread here. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation, and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Oh, my goodness. Um, the two of swords is very much, um, uh, very much a card that represents trusting your intuition. So if you are a Sag that is making a decision, absolutely. This is just, you know, additional, um, confirmation with, with, um, you know, what I've already said for you to trust your intuition. Uh, the angels are telling you to take action. You're in touch with, with your truth <laughs> in this situation um trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself you're in the driver's seat you're in control sag and you will be victorious so amazing reading um very deep reading i feel like um it's a very powerful reading and yeah i think it's going to be an amazing week for you take control all right sag i do hope you you found this reading helpful and i hope you have a great week Take care.